Introduction is real clear. Uh, sorry, I'm a on you. Roger Craig Smith. My man. man. Fred Tattashore, President of the United States of America. <laughs> no, uh, Fred Tattashore, Gorilla Grodd, cool. and Death Row. Awesome. Quite a pair we have. Greatest president. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. <laughs> All the presidents. <laughs> So, yes. you're both playing up incredibly iconic characters. What um, led you to want to play um, both Joker, of course, and Grodd, and we also have, spoiler, Deathstroke. Batman. Well, so I Batman. Uh, uh, Batman. That's fine. No, no. Well, what, would lead, what would lead anyone to want to voice Batman? I, I mean, you know what? I shouldn't have asked that. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, I, it's like I, I can't believe I get to. No, so, yeah, no, there's nothing, true. nothing that was like, you know what, I think this time I'll just voice Batman, like, why not? <laughs> I'll, let them, I'll let them have their yeah. fun. No, it's just, a, it's an honor for me. It's a dream come true, like, when you do that. Uh, for, for, for something like that. Uh, for me, uh, what, what's the question? How did I, what would let me to, to this? To or? want to be broad. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? This the genius gorilla that has world domination plans? Absolutely. And and can enjoy the wine. Yes. No, I really, I love, I and love. I just got that voice on record. You have That's it awesome. there on your, on your modern human technology. Yes. It's so lovely. But yeah, I, 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 I love the idea of a bestial character that is going against type and is refined and is masking a great disdain because of much abuse that he's had in life. So contrary to a lot of uh, animated films, you guys actually had the kind of visual product available to kind of inform your voice decisions. So just give me a little bit of how that visuals affected how you guys voice the characters. That's for you. Well, what was for me, a big one was uh, uh, Deathstroke was pretty much how I often play him, uh, and he just he just looked really cool, and I just got he was a little more fired up than I normally make him. He was a little more like uh, struggled, you know, more in this one. Um, Gorilla Grodd, this is where I've never had this happen before, where the the animation and the design was so thorough by the time we looked at it, it informed me of how I was to act. I keep doing this gesture because that was it. It's just like you could see the frustration of these so humans. Fantastic. You know, and it was like his face was so expressive, which you don't always have in every anime. You still you have the drama, yeah. but not this detail that just said, okay, and it didn't make me a slave to it. It's just I got every bit of his intention by the, they call it, you know, animation acting, basically. The people who animated it acted this yeah. thing out. Visual and inspiration. Visual inspiration. And it, and it let me go even, it freed me up to go even further. You know, and I'm really match that look he had in his eyes. Those eyes were just amazing. So that was a, that's a very good question because uh, it's not always like that. So this was yeah. a very special movie for that. The question for you, yes, with, uh, with Batman. I mean, like a lot of the characters, villains have a lot more flexibility in how they can act, how they can be portrayed. Did you, did you feel a lot of pressure to, to be Batman and put your own touch on it, but without straying too far? Because people have a pretty stern idea about Batman. Absolutely, yeah. and, 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 and I get that. It's like it's like, and really and truly, I think any of us who've been fortunate enough to, to get a chance to voice the character, yeah, um, we all know that it, it sort of it lives within a certain box. Yeah. And if you start stepping outside of that, it should right up right immediately for the actor feel very unnatural or very against you know the canon. Um, so I, I, I don't know, uh, but I never. I, when people ask me like, how do you put your own personal touch on it? It's like I, I don't. I, I listen to what the director or whoever is 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 the, the team behind the the execution of this project like it's their version it's their character it's their product it's not for me to sit there and say well here's how I'm gonna yeah. twist you know it's like I, I like to think we're we're audible lumps of clay and they they form us into what they want and you know there will be chances for me to say this feels a little odd or, or a little like out of character that kind of thing but it's never me getting to go like well this is my version of Batman you'll enjoy it it just never works that way so yeah he, kinda, he doesn't just, like me to say this but it, it, it's uh, what I love what he brings is a humanity there's a certain goodness to Batman that he has not Roger doesn't have I have not no no, but, no, no, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, it really it, it, there's something about it that I just like I get like his human frailty in this and I kind of like that so that's that's what you bring, but Thanks, just, that's my opinion. It means Thanks, nothing. Fred. It's not that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> what were your favorite scenes from uh, 
the movie because I, I know like Batman uh, Rod had like that one scene in, where he's bathing. The hot tub. Yeah. The hot tub. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Spoilers. Well, I love that. Oh, I love that one too. It was fun to do. I love that he knows that Batman's there. And just his monologue. That was a neat little reveal too. It was a neat yeah. like that you were talking about visual storytelling. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. like, the whole thing of him where you think he's just monologuing and talking, and then it's like I know you're there. Batman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the, the silhouette. Yeah. And, and, he, and, and Batman's not even taken from it. You know, he's just he's like, just yeah, all right, we'll yeah. talk. <laughs> that, what I thought was funny, funny too, that he's like, no, no, I don't want to look. <laughs> I'm surprised right you didn't invite him in. No, he does. Uh-huh. Oh, he does. Right. Well, I love like him. In. And Batman some goes, of, uh, sock I'm fine right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't need to see anything going on under the water. All no, right, no, always behind the mask. Yeah, what's that? No, there you go. No, grog, there's no grog. Oh, I'm wasting my time here. Well, like up to his stomach. Yeah, but it's up to his stomach. It's a yeah. hot bath. But, um, mm-hmm. oh gosh, there's too many uh, scenes uh, without spoiling anything. The, the monkey army. Yeah. Um, there's some, uh, the opening sequence of him going back in time. Uh, that yeah, first no few moments of that building turning yeah. and going, finding out you're in feudal Japan is hilarious. <laughs> um, I loved. I don't, I don't know if we're giving too much away, but like there's a great there's a Keep great going. ninja fight in between mm-hmm. or a samurai fight in between him. Yeah. Yeah. Sad when everybody and, dies. Yes. Too. <laughs> everybody dies. <laughs> there's also great stuff between uh, uh, just the relationship of Harley and Joker. Mm-hmm. I love seeing their love affair, even though it's twisted. It's wonderful, kind of. You sort of celebrate it. You Did know? you fellows do any um, research into the feudal era of Japan to prepare for the immersive world bits? I did not have much time. Ah. No, so there was a unique sort of a set of circumstances for me to, to come on board the project, and it, and, it, and it resulted in us having a, a short window of time to get it all done. And uh, and as a result, I didn't really, I didn't know what I was stepping into. I quite literally was like, hey, you're going to do this Batman Ninja thing. And I was like, cool. I didn't know that it was anime. I didn't know that, I, I really, I didn't know anything about it until But it was you like, had a oh. blast. I had an absolute blast. Because the minute I saw it, the minute they told me, because a lot of this stuff is very secretive, and they, they try to keep these things under wraps. They're like, yeah, you're coming on a Batman project. And I was like, wow, okay, cool. And Who am I going to be? Like, yeah, the hell you say? Exactly. <laughs> Liar! Exactly. But so I didn't get a chance to really prepare in that way. But it's okay. That's that's why we rely on our directors and the writers and the creatives that are involved to let us, you know, gu- have them guide us in what they would like us to do. Absolutely. Well, thank you both very much. You've done thank a you. magnificent yeah, job. Have you. a great convention. Thank you, you guys too. Well. It's really very nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's thank only you. Saturday. Yeah. <laughs>